Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in today's quick tutorial we're going to go over the Renko electronic temperature control and how to program it. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. In today's lesson we're going to be going over the Renko electronic temperature controller specifically on how to program it as this is a very common control you'll find in the air conditioning and refrigeration field. To the left of us is the control itself, and to the right of us we have a little bit of information. The model number is ETC 111000-000. This can be used for 120 volts or 208-240 AC. This is a SPDT relay. SPDT is single pole double throw and the software version for this one is number three. Here we have some programming steps and I'm going to leave a screenshot in this video so you guys get a better look at this. Here's another step by step instruction on how to program this controller. Let's just quickly go over in a bit of detail what we're actually programming here. To program this control, to access that mode, you're going to click set and you're going to enter the program mode. From there, we're going to move on to step one. You're going to have a display of either F or C. F is for Fahrenheit and C is for Celsius. So you're going to set your scale. In America, typically we use Fahrenheit. So we're going to be on F. Then we're going to click set once again and we're going to move into step two. You're going to see S1 and it's going to be blinking. This is going to be your set point temperature. So let's say this is a refrigerator and you want this to be at let's say 37 degrees. You're going to set your set point to 37 degrees. This is the temperature you're going to be maintaining. You click set and you're going to move on to step three. Step three, you're going to see you might see DIF1 or just a number, it's going to be blinking. And this is going to be your differential temperature. So let's say you had it set to 37, your set point S1, and your differential, you set it at 3. That means once the box reaches 40, it's going to kick back on until it reaches 37, then it's going to kick off. So then it's going to rest, let the box you know, maintain temperature, but if the temperature rises up that differential it will kick back on so if we're set once again if we're set at 37 with a differential of 3 we're gonna we're gonna range between 37 and 40 degrees that's gonna be our on and off set points click set and you're done with that this is a universal control so you could use it however you want for an uh, cooling or heating application and that brings us to step 4 you're gonna see C1 or H1 C1 stands for cooling and H1 stands for heating. So this controller can be used for either application. Click set on your desired application. Of course, cooling will be for refrigeration and air conditioning. Click set and we're on to step five, which is D1, which is gonna be your cooling delay. You can arrange it from zero to 20 minutes. I just do it either possibly zero or three minutes max because everybody hates time delays. Let's begin controlling this thing. Let's begin programming. Right now I have this temperature controller wired up and I'm going to turn the power on. Power is now on and we're going to wait for a display. There you go, we see S1 and it shows a room temperature of 75 degrees. Let's begin to control. Let's click set. Just adjusted my angle for when the light came on on the screen. It was made it hard to see. So we're going to click set and we're gonna use our scale. So if you want Fahrenheit, you're gonna click set. If you want Celsius, click on one of the arrows and then click set. We're gonna use Fahrenheit and I'm gonna click the set button. Now we're moving to step two and this is going to be our set point temperature. All right, we're gonna have to press it one by one. A lot of times you see this in a commercial refrigeration application so let's say I'm going to put it, set it to seven, 36, excuse me. 
commercial refrigerators are ranging from 35 to 40 degrees. I'm going to click set and then differential. I'm going to go with a three degree differential. So this box is going to range from 36 to 39 degrees. So it kicks on at 39 degrees and kicks off at 36. Click set. This is, we're going to set either if we're using this for heating or cooling. C1 is cooling, H1 is heating. Of course, this is a cooling application. And we're going to click set. Then we have D1, which is our cooling delay, 0 to 20 minutes. I have one at set 0. And there you go. It is now displaying S1 and 76, as that is our room temperature and now we have it set if you want to go through it again let's just check let's just check our settings we're gonna click set it's in Fahrenheit set see s1 is at 36 differential is at 3 we're in cooling and d1 our delay is 0 set and there you go we just programmed the Renko temperature controller Here's a sneak peek of what it looks like inside of this controller and if anyone is interested definitely leave a comment below of what type of video you'd like me to make. What I'm thinking of is an in-depth wiring video as this can be wired in different ways. Also a troubleshooting guide on how to troubleshoot this control. We're going to wrap it up from here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like, comment and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and I'll catch you all next time. Yeah.